welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I have posted on my channel, but I felt very inspired to post today. And in today's video is going to be a mug collection video. I am so excited. I have so many mugs here to show you. I think I counted all of them and I have about 16 or 17 mugs altogether. A lot of them I have made. I really love just going to the ceramic store and sitting down and creating something that I will love and cherish forever. But some of them are also store-bought. So I'm gonna show you guys all the store-bought ones that I have bought over throughout my life. The first one is this Christmas mug. If you haven't seen all my Vlogmases, um, every year I bring this out and I always show my viewers that I'm drinking coffee out of my festive mug. I love it so much. It has a little owl on it. He's wearing his little Christmas hat and scarf. And then on the inside, it has little tiny snowflakes. I got this as a gift from one of my really good friends when I moved into one of my first little apartments by myself. I get so excited when I bring this out every year for Christmas. The next three I'm going to show you are from Anthropology. So the first one from Anthropology is this one right here. I really don't know why I bought it. I think it was just because I loved the colors and how beautiful it was. And I don't know, I just was drawn to the colors. I love green, it's one of my favorite colors as you can probably tell. Uh, but I just love it so, so much. And the next mug I have from Anthropology is this little pineapple mug right here. It says, welcome this mug. I just love pineapples in general. So when I saw this mug, I just said, I have to get it. <laughs> the last mug from Anthropology is this one. It has a beautiful J on it with this gorgeous flower detail. I love it so much. And I got it because my name starts with a J, obviously. I had to get it because of that reason and also my mom has the exact same one because her name starts with a J as well and then a good friend of mine also has the same style mug but hers just has a can in it so I thought that was super funny because we all three have the same exact mugs the next two store-bought ones and the last two store-bought ones I'm going to show you are both Disney themed and they're both Alice in Wonderland themed. So the first Alice in Wonderland themed mug is this one. It has the treasure cat and Alice on it and then it has this writing on it and it says, well, I've often seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat, it's the most curious thing. I absolutely love this mug. And then on the other side, it just says Alice in Wonderland. And the thing I love about this mug is when you pour hot water in it, the cat disappears and leaves only his smile. And that's what I love about the treasure cat because he is known for disappearing and only leaving his smile. So when I saw this mug, I just had to get it. The next Alice in Wonderland themed mug is this one and it's the treasure cat again. It's amazing. I love this mug so much. I love how big it is. Plus like the inside is basically just him and then it has his beautiful funny little face on it. I got this mug in Disneyland and when I saw it there I just had to get it because I love the treasure cat. He's absolutely one of my favorites. The next mugs are all handmade. So the first handmade one is this one. This one actually one of my students made me. I am a preschool teacher so I got this as a gift for Christmas. It is pretty adorable. Next is probably one of my favorites. It's a little small, but I just love it anyway. And that is my psych bug. Yep, I made a psych bug because I love the TV show Psych. If you don't know what Psych is, where have you been? It's about a guy who pretends to be a psychic for the Santa Barbara Police Department. It's like my favorite show ever, so I had to make a mug representing my favorite show, obviously. So it just says psych on the front here, and then on the inside it says Sean and Gus, and on the other side it says Carlton and Juliet, and then on the handle it says what? And also it has a little pineapple on the inside, which I love. So that is my psych mic. I absolutely love it. Also, can we just take a moment? I'm so excited for Psych the Movie 2. Who's with me? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. The next mug is a mug that was very spontaneous. I was just sitting around one day and I thought, I really love YouTubers and watching them. So why don't I just make a mug that has all the YouTubers names that I am subscribed to on it. So this is what it looks like. It just has all the names on it. On the inside it says, I love YouTubers. And then on the other side, it has the YouTube logo. And then obviously all around it has all the YouTuber names. It has Shay Tarts, Corey Cool, Thatcher Joe, Tyler Oakley, Bethany Moda, 
Cute Girls Hairstyles, Naomi Smart, Hannah Hart, Tanya Burr, Jim Chapman, Joey Graceffa, Sprinkle of Glitter, Troy Savan, Sakoni Jolies, Marcus Butler, Pointless Blog, Zoella, Superfruit, Connor Franta, and Ingrid Nielsen. That is all of them on here. I'm still subscribed to most of them. And I just, every time I get excited about YouTubers or something like that, I always just drink out of it. I absolutely love this mug. The next mug is this mug right here. I made this while I was in college, and I think the reason why is because I could eat stuff out of it, which was convenient for me, but I love it nonetheless. So it's teal all the way around, and then it's purple on the inside, and then um, the writing on the inside says, making my dreams come true one step at a time, and then it has a little heart and music notes on it as well. Next mug is a Disney themed mug. I love Disney. I got into a phase, and I kind of still am, where I would go on YouTube and look up people's Disney bounds, what they were packing for Disney, what their outfits were, and how to make mini mouse ears. I was in a Disney black hole and so I decided to make myself a Disney mug because I love Disney that much so this is what it looks like it has the old-fashioned castle from like the 90s I think whenever I would watch a Disney movie this castle would always pop up and I absolutely love it and uh, it says Walt Disney pictures on it and then on the inside it has a little Mickey Mouse head which is super fun I love this Disney mug and I really want to make another one the next two I'm going to show you are Harry Potter themed and as you can tell I'm wearing my Harry Potter pajamas that I made so great uh, so the first Harry Potter mug I have is the Marauders map themed mug I love this one so much I am so proud of it I got this idea off a book called the unofficial guide to Harry Potter crafting and this mug idea was in there and I said I had to make it because I love the Marauders map. The third book is obviously my favorite and I decided that I wanted to make it because it looked so cool. So this is how it turned out. I love it. I love the little footprints on here and every which way. It also has footprints on the handle as well and on the inside of course it says I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. This is one of my proudest mugs I think I've ever made just because of the detail. I'm just so in love with it. The last Harry Potter mug I have is this one right here. This one is fairly new. I made this right after I met Rupert Grint at Seattle Comic Con this year. I just felt so inspired, so I had to do one. So this mug has the silhouette of the Hogwarts castle, and then on the other side, as you have seen, I have the three characters on it, so each item is representing one of the characters so Harry, Ron, and Hermione so Harry's glasses and scar, Hermione's time turner, and then Ron's sweater. You can't really see the R very well but you know what? That's okay. I still know it's Ron's sweater. And then I have their names on the inside and then the Deathly Hallows symbols Deathly Hallows symbol as well. The next three mugs I have to show you are all representing some of my favorite TV shows out there. The first one is from Boy Meets World and I made this because I, I recently met the actor who played Eric Matthews aka Will Friedle and I just had to make it because after I met him I just felt really inspired and then I watched all seven seasons like binge watched them like crazy and I just fell in love with it. It has the Boy Meets World logo and on the inside it has all their names so Corey, Topanga, Eric, Mr. Feeney, and Sean. I absolutely love the way it turned out. The next one is probably another one of my most proudest mugs, and that is my Friends themed mug. So on the back, it has the Friends logo, and on the front, it has the Central Perk logo. I love this one too. I just love all of them, as I have said, but I am most proud of this one too because all of the detail, and I loved how it turned out. It's just beautiful and amazing. And then on the inside, it has all the names. So Chandler, Joey, Phoebe, Rachel, Ross, and Monica. Ah, it's just so beautiful. And plus, I've seen these everywhere, like mugs like this with the logo on it. And I thought, you know what? Instead of buying it, why not just make it? So that's what I did, basically. And I am just in love with it. This last TV show themed mug is probably my favorite i don't know i think i just love all the colors plus this is like one of my new top favorite shows right now and i started watching this show like a month or so ago and i'm already done with season four cannot wait for season five. Oh my goodness 
and that show is Queer Eye. I love this show. I cry like every single time I watch it. It's just that amazing. So on the front, it just has the Queer Eye logo, and on the back, I drew a little heart, but the inside is my favorite, and that is, are you ready for it? Bam! If you can see that, it's a rainbow. Oh my gosh, I am just so proud of it. It was so difficult to do all the little stripes, but I think it turned out so beautiful and I'm so just again proud of it. So it has the rainbow on the inside and then all around it, it has the names obviously. It has Antony, Jonathan, Karama, Bobby, and Tana. Ugh, I'm just, I love this mug and every time I drink my coffee, I'm just, I get so happy because it has a little rainbow in it. It's so beautiful. The last two mugs I'm going to show you are based off of my two favorite artists. The first one is Miley Cyrus. I love Miley Cyrus. I've literally loved her since her Hannah Montana days. And so I thought, you know what, I have to make a mug representing my girl Miley. So this is what it looks like. It's teal and then it has Miley Cyrus and beautiful cursive with the music note ending. And then it goes, the M goes all the way up and then it goes into a microphone and that was an inspiration from a Chloe line that she had a really long time ago. One of the shirts had a microphone just wrapping around the shirt and so that's where that inspiration came from. And then it has The Climb which is one of my favorite songs. I always go to it if I just want to like sing really powerfully if I'm kind of angry or sad it just lifts me up. It's a really important song to me. And then on the bottom it has a music note and then it also has one on the handle as well. The last one I am also very proud of. I, like I said, I'm proud of all of my mugs. Uh, this one is fairly new. I just picked it up yesterday and it is a Jonas Brothers themed mug. I was kind of going for their new album, So Happiness Begins. I was kind of going for that color scheme with the blues and the purples kind of. So on the front it has a piano and then on the other side it has palm trees and then obviously their album name Happiness Begins. And then on the inside it just has their names if you can see them. So Nick, Joe, and Kevin. I based this mug off of their new album, Happiness Begins. Blue and then purples, I don't know, I just felt that vibe. So that is my last and final mug. I love it. Seriously, just picked this up yesterday and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. So that is my entire mug collection. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new or if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.